It is a deal to end a diplomatic standoff. China and the United States agree to let legal activist Chen Guangcheng travel to the U.S. with his family for a university fellowship. The Chinese Foreign Ministry says Chen may apply for travel permits to study abroad, and New York University says it is offering him that chance. All of this follows one of the most delicate diplomatic crises in years, that included behind-the-scenes negotiations and public appeals over the phone to this congressional committee. He wants to come to the U.S. Uh, for uh, uh, some time of rest. He has uh, not had、uh, any rest in the past ten years. Chen is a blind, self-taught lawyer, a symbol in China's civil rights movement. He triggered the standoff after escaping house arrest, seeking refuge in the U.S. embassy in Beijing. Then a diplomatic dance. Chen ended up in a hospital after injuring his foot in the escape, saying he wanted to remain in China with his family. Then a reversal. Chen wanted to leave the country with his family. At New York University, law professor Jerome Cohen has worked with Chen on human rights issues. He is offering him a fellowship at NYU. And I don't think this is empty talk here.、Uh, I think they mean this is a way out, and it's a dignified way out. It's a good way out for the Chinese government, and for our government, and for China and his family. So this could be. I'm excited. I think this is the first opening I've seen in a very tough week. Bob Fu is a longtime friend of Chen's and a human rights activist. We learned from、uh, the people on the ground that、uh, a number of Chinese、uh, dissidents or human rights defenders, and、um, of course many of them, No Chen or his supporters, had been、um, uh, forced to have tea with the public security officers called He Ta, <laughs> and、uh, basically、uh, received warning threat.、Uh, it's、uh, nationwide. There are still obstacles to Chen leaving China, starting with whether he has to return to his home province to apply for a passport, potentially exposing him to retribution from local officials who kept him under house arrest. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.